Hey guys, William Justice here. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve and Fusion FX. So I was working on my next video, and if I ever finish it, I guarantee you're gonna love it, but as I was working on it, I got to a point where I needed to create a border around a shape. This seemed like it might make a really good DaVinci Resolve effect, so I thought I'd turn it into an effect that you could use directly from the timeline. I've created this effect, it's called Just Border. It's really easy to use, you can drag it on top of any image or shape, and it'll put a border around it. It works great for images and video, you can add multiple borders and apply effects to each of the borders. The really cool thing about this effect is you can apply it to just about anything. It doesn't have to be a square or a rectangle. You can put it around a PNG image just like this, and the border will go around all the parts of the image, and you can add multiple borders and effects and do all the kind of things that you can do with these square ones. It's very dynamic, so as you move the image, the border is going to resize to fit. I'm going to show you how to download and install the effect, then we're going to take a look at how to use it, and finally we're going to jump into Fusion and I'm going to show you how I set up the effects. It really only takes a couple of nodes and it's not too difficult. And there may be some different things in there that you can learn. If you enjoy my videos, make sure that you like and subscribe. Any comments, questions, or feedback, leave them below. I would love to hear from you. To install the Just Border effect, all you need to do is go to my website, buildjustice.com, click Download Effects, find the Just Border effect, and download the DRFX file for DaVinci Resolve. This works in DaVinci Resolve 17. Double click on the file and it Resolve will open it and install the effect for you. Okay, let's take a look at how to use the border effect. We're gonna start with uh, just a basic image. So we're gonna take an image from the media pool and drag it into the timeline. And let's scale it down just a bit. So let's click effects at the top, open up toolbox, open up effects and select the William Justice folder. This, this is where all my effects are. Find just border and drag it right on top of our image. And we have a nice border that's added there. Let's take a look at some of the adjustments you can do for the border. The first option is to adjust the border size. You can make the border bigger, and you can actually make an in inner border by making the border size negative. It'll go inside your image, video, or the object that you're adding the border to. The corners is gonna, you can set it to box, and it'll be a squared off corner, or circle, and you'll have kind of a rounded corner. The border blend is the opacity of the border. The fill is the blending of the inner image, so we can bring that down, and we're gonna have a border only. Now we're gonna use this in a little bit to do the, uh, the video borders. We can adjust the border color, just click the color, Select what you want, hit OK. All right, let's go ahead and set it back to white. The glow options let you put kind of a glow around the border. So the first thing you want to do is take the glow blend and bring that up to enable the glow. And we can adjust some of the colors. We can bring up the red scale and adjust the green and blue, kind of get a kind of get a glowy border and mess with the glow size. All right, let's take the glow off. And we have a shadow option. So let's let's bring the shadow blend up. And you'll see right here we have a, a nice little shadow and we can adjust the blur on that to kind of blur it in. This is useful if you have a, the image on a light background or you want to have some contrast between the image and the border. Last section is some advanced adjustments. I'll show you how those work in just a second. One of the interesting things we can do is actually add multiple borders on here. So we have a white border right now. So let's take the just border and add it on again. And you'll notice in the effects, we're going to have two border effects. So let's go to the second effect and we can bring that up a bit. Okay, so the second border's on here, but you can't see it because they're both white, so let's adjust the color. Let's make it kind of a red. And we have a red border, and let's add one more border on the outside of that. And bring up the, that's the inner border. So let's uh, go to the third border right there and crank up the size there. And we can do things, you can do things with the glow and um, you know, add in the shadow effect. So we added the shadow and you can see we got a kind of a shadow right where that inner color is. One of the nice things about this border is that it affects whatever the size of the shape is. So if we can go to the video and actually play around and adjust the pitch and the yaw, and the border size is gonna stay the same no matter what. Let's see what else we can do. Maybe something that's not a rectangle or a square. So let's go to the media pool. I have this coffee cup right here. All right, so we're gonna take this coffee cup and shrink it down just a bit, and let's add a border to the coffee cup. Let's go to effects, find just border, and drag it right on top of the coffee cup. And we have a nice border that's added there. Let's take a look at what we can do. So we can uh, you know, adjust the border size, same effects as before. Um, adjust the fill to get the border only. We can add a glow onto it. Adjust the glow blend. It's kind of interesting effects, looks pretty good. Now one of the things you'll notice here is when we scroll in, sometimes around these borders it's not, we don't have a really good edge. For example, if this was set to box, the edge is not very good there. So that's where these adjustments come in down here. You see it's got a little bit of bleeding there. What you can do is go to this advanced adjustments and you can play, kind of play around with some of these settings. You notice when we bring this down, 
I'm going to show you just a bit how this works so you maybe understand what's going on here. But you can adjust these to kind of refine the border. Most likely you won't need to get into this area, but it's there in case you need to use it. And same thing works here. We can add another border on. So um, really there's a lot you can do here with the border. All right, let me show you how to set up a video border. Let's go to the media pool and we're going to take uh, an image and drag it in here. And we're going to put a border around it. So let's uh, zoom out a little bit, kind of find them where you want the image. And we're going to make a copy of it. Hit Alt and drag down so we have a copy of the image. For the image on top, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the effects and add the border. We're going to size the border, go to the inspector, make sure you hit effects, and let's bump up the border size a little bit here. So we're going to get the video playing inside this border. To do that, we're going to use the composite mode in the inspector. So we'll go to the video tab and let's bring in the video. So We've got a video background. We're going to take this one and put it right on top. And right now it's covering everything up. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to the composite mode for this image and we're going to select foreground. So that means that this is going to be the foreground piece and it's going to get masked based on something else that we set. So let's go to the next layer down with our image and we're going to set the composite mode on that one to alpha. And what that's going to do is it's going to use the alpha from this one to mask out the image on top. Now you notice the whole thing is showing there. So all we need to do is go to the second, the second one, click effects and take the fill and bring it all the way down. This is the border only because we brought the fill down to zero. So then we can enable the one on the bottom and the image is going to show through. And we have a quick, easy video border. Okay. Now let's jump into fusion. I'm going to show you how I created this. It's a, let's add a background node in here to get started. Okay, let's take our coffee cup and drag it in. We're going to merge it right on top of the background. And let's hit 2 on the merge. You notice that it's really big. So let's just shrink that down. We're going to use a transform node. Let's select media in one and hit the transform button. And let's shrink it down a little bit. Okay, there's our coffee cup. So to get the border around it, we're going to use the erode dilate node. And what that it's going to do is it's going to expand the image. And then we're going to overlay the expanded image on top of the original image and cut it out so that we can only see the border. So let's click control space and search for a road dilate and add that in. So we're going to take the output of the transform and put it into the road dilate. So let's uh, get up two viewers here. The original image is here on the left and the road dilate is right here on the right. So notice that if we take, do a road dilate, we can adjust the amount and it's going to get bigger. We can use a merge node to overlay these two and use a merge operation to get the difference between them, which will reveal the border. Really simply, we're going to add a merge node in. We're going to take the output of the transform and put it into the merge. We're going to take the erode dilate and put it into the, into the foreground of the merge. Let's take a look at the merge. We're going to hit two, two on the merge. We'll just bring it to one viewer for now. And all we need to do to see our border is click the merge node and change the operator to XOR. And we have our border. We can use the erode dilate to adjust the border size. Now you notice right here where it's kind of cut off there. So you can go into the row dilate and change the filter to circle and it'll kind of smooth out these edges here. They're not quite perfect, but that's where we're going to use a bitmap node. Out of the merge, we're going to add a bitmap node. So click off of the nodes, hit control space and search for bitmap. And we'll add that in. We're going to take the output of the merge and put it into the bitmap. And let's take a look at what the bitmap is. All right, there, there we go. So we got kind of a black and white image here. And we're going to put the output of this bitmap into a background so that we can adjust the color. So let's add a background node, put the bitmap into the background as a mask, and we're going to take the background and merge it right back into the main node tree. And let's hit two on this merge tree. So right here, you can see what we got. The background color is set to black, but if we go to background and adjust the color, you'll see that we have our border. And you, we, I used the erode dilate to adjust the size. And that's basically how I did the border. I added some, some more effects and different things in there. Um, but that's the basic setup. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and that you're going to be making lots of borders and you, uh, you find lots of good uses for the effect. Um, remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe and leave comments below. I would definitely love to hear from you. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you soon with another video that uses this effect and it'll be really great. We'll see if I can actually get it done.